Hello, Florida! Woo! I know you're ready to elect the next president of the United States of America! Come on, let me hear you, Florida! I'm super excited about being back here in the great state of Florida because I don't care what the liberal media might say, Florida belongs to Donald Trump and he will. This is Trump country. This is Trump country, Florida. And I believe here in the great state of Florida, you're going to make sure that Hillary Clinton never stepped foot in the White House. Never. Never. I need you to shout, never. Shout, never. Ever will we allow her to step back into the office because she is the crooked, 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 crooked Hillary Clinton. And she don't belong in the White House. I'm going to still say it. She belongs in jail. Lock her up. Lock her up. Because the fact of the matter is, Hillary Clinton is nothing but an extension of Barack Obama. And we already know what Barack Obama has done for our country. We are weaker now. We are not as strong now. We are less than. But the day that Donald Trump becomes president of the United States, the whole world will know that America has rose back to the place. Because we are the United States of America. USA. 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 And you know what, Florida? When you have a leader like Donald Trump, Countries that harbor ISIS will fear this great country again. They will fear us. They will fear us. They will fear us because under the Democrats and under a Barack Obama, our military is weak. People don't fear us. People don't respect us. We give money in the secret of the night to Iran who wants to kill us. That just shows you the kind of a leadership that Hillary Clinton will be when she becomes president. And isn't it amazing about those emails, candles, those emails, those emails. She said back in the Democratic, in the Democratic primary that I wish we would just stop talking about those emails. But Hillary Clinton, I've come here to let you know that we, the silent majority, will never shut up about those emails. Never. Because we are tired. Somebody say we're tired. Shout, we are tired. We're tired of crooked politicians. We're tired of the voice of America not being heard. We're tired of people who are only a part of the 1% getting rich while we Americans are suffering. We are tired of how Obama has treated our veterans who have protected our freedom.
because Donald Trump will not only protect the veterans, but the day he becomes president, he will build a wall and he will make sure that any illegal never step foot on a great store. Of because it vexes me how the liberal media, and they are here today, the liberal media is here, They're here today. You ought to just tell them how you really feel. <laughs> tell them how you really feel. Tell them we won't let you stop us. We can't be stopped. We can't be quiet. We can't shut up. We can't be silenced. Because Florida and while your backs are turned, you need to know that Donald Trump is watching you live right now on RSBN.TV. He's watching you live. Come on, Florida. Let him know you're ready for him. Florida, let him know. Let him know. Open up your mouth. Woo! Somebody say, woo! Because we are one people and we are tired of the liberal media pitting us and they're trying to get us to fight each other and not the real enemies because the real enemy they don't care whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're young, whether you're old, whether you're black, whether you're white. ISIS wants us dead. And I know this great city and this great state is still recuperating from what took place. 49 souls that was killed right down the street from where we are today. And how dare Hillary Clinton allow the father of that killer right behind her. I mean, are you serious? I mean, that just shows you the kind of a respect she has for Florida, the kind of respect. And she want to pretend like she didn't know. The devil is a liar. She knew. She knew. And I want to tell everybody that is here that we will no longer allow people like Hillary Clinton to help make those who live off of the system to stay on the system. I don't know, maybe I'm the only person that knows somebody who's really good at stealing and living off of the system when they really don't need to be on the system. And they try to give away free everything over there in the Democrats. They try to give free this, free that, free this, free that. How many of you know that getting anything for free never creates prosperity, but it only creates dependency? And we here in Florida, I believe there's some hard-working Americans that are here that you provide for your family. You work hard. Why? Because you know the importance of putting in a hard day work. Somebody say, I'm tired. Say, I'm tired. I'm tired of the Democratic Party making people who are not working to live like they're kings. Can I, be, can, I, can I have a real conversation with you today? Florida, can I have a real conversation with you today? 
I know I can pump you up, but can I just, can we really, really talk? Like they say, can we talk for real, for real, for real? Can we talk for real today? I'm tired of this race baiting Democratic Party. How they will have us fighting each other because of the color of our skin when in reality, Dr. King did not fought and die so that we could be focusing on black America, but he died so that we can be Americans. Americans. USA. You. And they are trying to make you feel guilty for being proud to be an American. And they only do that when you begin to speak politically incorrect. But I'm tired of people being politically correct. I'm tired. I'm tired. Shout, I'm tired. Shout, I'm tired. Of people being politically correct while nothing gets done, while people are still being broke. And I want to tell you right now, it's not just minorities that are suffering financially. There are other Americans in some parts of our country, like the Appalachian areas, they don't have ready water. They don't have shoes to use. But when the day Donald Trump becomes president, everybody will prosper in the great country of the United States. And did y'all hear Hillary Clinton's weak, weak, economic plan, I mean, it sounds more like the same old stuff that we've already heard. I mean, if they were to talk about Melania writing other folks' stuff down, they should talk about Hillary Clinton and her plagiarizing self just being a carbon copy of what Obama already said. I mean, do I got some witnesses in the building tonight? If you're in the building, shout, woo! I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it everywhere I go, that despite the color you were born with here in America, the only colors that matter are the colors of the red, white, I'm Pastor Mark Burns, and I ask you to help me elect the next president, Donald J. Trump. Shout, Trump, Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Let's hear it for Pastor Burns.